There's a big problem unfolding tonight in northern Canada. Sea ice is shrinking, and that means polar bears are in trouble. They can't hunt as they normally would at this time of year, so there are real concerns about them starving if something doesn't change soon. The CBC's Margot McDermott now with how the situation became so critical. It's hungry season for this polar bear. There's been no hunting for four months since the ice melted off Hudson Bay and it doesn't look like it's going to freeze anytime soon. The family groups and the big males, they're just sitting on the coast uh, at certain points along the, along the Hudson Bay coast, and they're just waiting for that, for that ice to come in. The problem is all this mild weather. Temperatures in the Hudson Bay region are 6 to 8 degrees above normal for this time of year. And further north, in parts of Nunavut, they're 14 degrees above normal. This does not reflect normal. It reflects now. And right now, Hudson Bay ice is at a record low for this time of year. Higher temperatures mean the ice is about a month behind schedule. The ice is actually uh, almost non-existent this year compared to our long-term normal. That's why Daryl Hedman flew over Hudson Bay this week to check the bears. He saw more than 300. His pictures show they're in good shape now. But biologists have never seen bears go longer than four months without food. It remains to be seen but what 30 more days or even longer might do, might do to these polar bears. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Polar Bears International Tundra Connections, live from Churchill. These polar bears are getting increasing global attention. This week, an environmental group hosted a webcast for schools around the world. This Ottawa school took part as students learned about how the bears are coping. I thought it was very interesting and sad at the same time. What I would do, like, put them in a better area with a little more ice, but still some food to eat so they can survive. But as you can see, these are very sharp. Uh, classic carnivore teeth. For Arctic so, specialist okay. Peter Ewens just yeah. got back from Maybe Hudson Bay. He predicts oh, many of the polar bears he like saw that. won't survive the long wait. The later it gets, the more weak bears there are who probably aren't going to make it through. For the bears on the shore now, it's a waiting game. For the colder weather and for the ice, their only route to food. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.